Hello everyone. Today, once again, I am going to perform the multiplication operation with the help of both algorithm. And uh, here you can see in questions. Uh, our question is uh, multiply minus 13 with minus 20. And uh, now let's see how to perform the multiplication operation with the help of both algorithm. So let's start uh, with the consideration. Uh, because we have already discussed um, every uh, considerations and other um, things about the booth flowchart in previous videos so today just uh, we are going to start um, the booth algorithm now let us suppose first of all m is equal to minus 13 and q is equal to minus 20 and this is the multiplication operations uh, which is very easy for the processor to multiply so we have to convert these decimal numbers into binary because processors only works in binary format so first of all i am going to uh, convert the decimal numbers q in binary format because 20 is larger number and because a larger number determine the number of count in our questions that's why let's convert this 20 into binary so uh, here uh, we have very easy trick to convert the uh, decimal number into binary format so 1 2 4 8 16 so 20 is sum of 16 plus 4 so uh, here i'm writing 1 1 and others 0 0 so this one is the uh, binary form of 6 uh, 20 we know that we have to add one extra bit in front value of count will be also 6 because the larger numbers occupies altogether 6 bit that's why our count number is 6 and um, this is minus 20 this is not just 20 uh, and this is the binary equivalent of 20 this is the binary equivalent of decimal number 20 but we need minus 20 so how to convert this minus uh, plus 20 into minus 20 for that uh, we have to um, take the two's complement of 20 so two's complement of of q and how can we find out the two's complement of q so two's complement of q is simply one's complement of q plus one and one's complement is the value of 20 is 0 1 0 1 0 0 but one's complement of this uh, these values is just invert all the digits so 0 become 1 1 become 0 0 become 1 1 become 0 and then 1 1 so this is the one's complement of q this is the one's complement of 20 and then plus 1 we have to add 1 to find the two's complement of q that will be the value of minus 20 in uh, binary system so you can write therefore the value of 20 will be after making the sum of 1 0 1 0 1 1 let's make the sum in rough so plus 1 plus 1 will be 0 and carry over 1 so 1 plus 1 will be once again 0 and then carry over 1 1 0 1 1 will be 1 0 and 1 so this one is the value of minus 20 decimal is equal to one zero one one zero zero so this is the binary equivalent of minus 20 and now let's find the value of minus 13 in same way so what will be the value of minus 13 so first of all we have to find out the value of 13 so what can be the value of uh, 13 in uh, binary format so sum of 8 plus 4 plus 1 will be 13 8 plus 4 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so this one is the uh, binary equivalent of 13 but we have to add two more extra bit because larger num largest number binary equivalents bit is 6 that's why we have to add two extra bit in this and then it becomes the bi binary format of 13 so now we can uh, simply make the two's complement of em so Two's complement of complement of m 
plus 1 and 2's complement of BM will be 1's complement plus 1's complement of M plus 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 0 plus 1 so after making the sum of this what will be the value the value will be 1 1 0 0 1 1 so this one is the value of m so value of m is equal to minus 13 and decimal uh, minus 13's value will be 1 1 0 0 and 1 1 but also we have to find the value of minus m so why to find the value of minus m we will understand later on 1 0 1 1 0 0 so uh, just now I am finding the value of minus m. Minus m means simply uh, the value of 13 because if m is equal to if m is equal to minus 13 then minus m is equal to 13. So what is the value of 13? The value of 13 in binary format is simply 0 0 1 1 0 1. So this is the this is the direct conversion of decimal number to binary number which is equal to minus the value of minus m is this one so now we have the value of minus m this one and the value of m this one and the value of q this one now let's initialize all these values as according to the booth algorithm so in booth algorithm we have to first of all write the value of initial value of accumulator and then the value of q and then the value of q minus 1 and then uh, count and then at last operation operation so all these value we have to initialize so initially what can be the value of accumulator so uh, we have to just count the uh, number of uh, bits of larger uh, digits so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 larger number is 20 so obviously the larger number of bits must be of um, binary conversions of 20 so that is 6 so we have to write 6 times 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 times 0 and then value of q is uh, simply this one so that is 1 0 1 1 0 0 and the value of q minus 1 is uh, initially we have to set it 0 and the mm, count is uh, we have already counted that it is 6 and operation is called initialize so we can write this initialize so this is initial uh, operations now first of all we have to see the value of least significant bit of q and only one bit of q minus one so um, uh, these two uh, combinations of zero zero and if the um, comparison make the combination of zero zero then we we know according to the um, booth algorithms if the combination is zero zero then we have to simply perform the arithmetic shift registers operation if the combination is 1 1 then also we have to perform the arithmetic shift registers operations if it, the combinations will be 0 1 then uh, we have to reset the value of accumulators by making the sum of value of m and if the value uh, combination of value will be 1 0 then we have to perform the operations and uh, we have to reset the value of accumulators by uh, subtracting the value of m from the accumulators so uh, and we have to um, check the count after performing every steps so um, our just now our combination is uh, 0 0 so we just can automatically we have to shift the value of all the registers so now let's shift the value automatically and the um, first bit will be preserved as it is and after that the f from the first bit we are going to shift right side every bits so 0 0 0 0 0 3 3 6 times and then last bit will move towards the uh, q uh, register and it will be 0 and then 1 0 1 1 0 and this 0 move towards the uh, right of the registers and then this operation is uh, simply called arithmetic shift register and after that um, this process has terminated sorry this steps has terminated and now uh, we have to subtract the count 
by 1 and it becomes count 5 and then in next step once again we have to look at the value of um, least significant bit of q and q that is 0 0 so once again the combination is 0 0 so for the combination of 0 0 simply what we can do we can uh, once again um, we have to shift automatic shift register also it will be once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 and then uh, last 0 will uh, move towards the uh, q and then it will be 0 0 1 0 1 1 and then this bit will be here so this uh, steps has also finished now we have to move in um, steps 4 in this step we can see the value of this significant bit of q is 1 and the value of q is 0 so the combination is 1 0 now for the combination of 1 0 what we can do uh, we have to sub subtract the value of accumulator by m so and the value of accumulator is 6 times 0 and the value of m is uh, here we have the value of minus m here at top side we have already calculated the value of minus m is this one so for the subtraction operation what we can do simply for the easiness we have already calculated the value of minus m uh, to um, to subtract something in binary format it, it is little bit uh, difficult that's why we have already found out the value of minus m and um, in the subtraction operations we just can uh, perform the addition operations like uh, if ac minus m is uh, the operations we have to perform then we can make this ac plus minus m and the value of ac is 6 times 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 times 0 and what is the value of minus m so minus m value is here we have already found it so it is minus m so we can make the addition operation so 0 0 1 1 0 1 and after making the addition operations it becomes uh, the ac minus m so it will be 0 0 1 1 0 1 is the result of um, subtraction is the result of ac minus m will be this one and others um, values we have to copy as it is so 0 0 1 0 1 1 and then 0 and after this steps from the booth algorithm um, we know that after performing this uh, uh, subtraction operation we have to go towards the automatic shift register so in this case we have to once again um, we have to shift automatically uh, the value of register so asr and now let's shift the value 0 will be 0 and then 0 and then once again this 0 and then 1 1 and then 0 1 move towards the right of registers so it will be 1 0 0 1 0 and 1 and then this one move towards the right of this register and after this this steps has also completed and now um, count will be decreased by 1 and it will be 3 and then in third steps once again let's compare these two values and this this gives the combination of 1 1 and for the 1 1 and 0 0 simply we have to uh, shift uh, the registers value only so after shifting this register value it will be what 0 0 0 0 and then 1 1 and then this 0 moves towards the right of register 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 and then this also moves towards the right of the register so after performing these steps this third step also completed now once again let's compare these values these two values will give the combination of 0 1 so in the case of 0 1 uh, what kinds of operations we have to perform and that operation is ac value should be incremented by the value of m so how to make the increment increment in the ac value by m so uh, simply we have to add the value of m in accumulator so the value of accumulator is 4 times 0 and 1 so 1 2 3 4 0 and 1 1 and in this time we don't need the value of minus m because in the case of subtraction we need the value of m minus m this time we have to add this value so 1 1 0 0 1 1 so 1 1 0 0 1 1 is the value of mm, uh, m so we have to make the addition with this value so now let's add these two value and the addition after addition 110 carry over one 
so one 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 will be one carry over one so one zero one one so this one is the value of uh, accumulators and it will be one one zero one one zero and others we have to copy as it is so zero zero one zero and then this one and after this operation so we have to shift the value of registers according to both algorithm and it will be one 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 zero one one and then zero zero this zero move towards the right so zero one zero zero one and then zero and after this this is strip cells also finished now the count reached up to one and this can be our final operation so let's perform once again and the combination is one zero so in the case of one zero our combination is this time one zero so in the case of one ac values would be decremented by m and this time the value of ac is one 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 zero one one and the value of minus m is zero one one zero one so now let's make the sum of these two and then our result will be zero zero one zero 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 and other value we have to copy as it is so zero zero one zero zero one and then zero and after performing these operations we know that we have to perform the operation asr so for asr the value of zero will be preserved as it is and then shift automatically the right side so zero and then this zero then one zero zero and then zero 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 one zero zero and then one reached up to here and when our value reached up to one then this is our final steps and the result of multiplications will be stored in accumulator and cube combinedly so this one will be our result and also we can check the results whether the result is true or not so how can we check so our question is minus 13 multiplied by minus 20 so we know that the multiplication value of minus 13 and 20 will be 260 but that is plus so after multiplication of these two value the decimal equivalent of 13 and 20 will be 260 so also we can find the decimal equivalent of uh, these binary digits and if it will be exactly 260 then we can understand our uh, answer is right so let's convert this so this is 0 0 0 1 0 0 this value and this value is 0 0 0 1 0 0 so accumulators and q registers value combinedly gives our answer so this is the result of our multiplications and now how can we convert this into decimal format so this is very easy to convert because we have to only take the uh, corresponding value of one with uh, decimal equivalent so how can we write one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four one twenty eight two fifty six so we are only going to take the value corresponding to the value having one so that is 256 plus 4 so sum of 256 and 4 will be 260 it means our result is correct so in this way we can multiply uh, whether the multiplicands and multiplier both are uh, negative in that case we can multiply using both algorithm so thank you for watching the videos and in upcoming videos uh, I am going to multiply the miscellaneous values. So keep watching the channel. Thank you very much.